Welcome back to the Pioneer Side. I'm your host, Chris Hoff. Now we're going to step into the softball. The other ball that gets pitched from a pitcher's mound, but just happens to be a little bit bigger than a baseball. They also went south for spring training during spring break. They played several games there. Uh, coming out of that one, now with a record of 6-4 and four are the Pioneers. They played several games. We're going to take a look here and see how they did on their spring break trip. You see there, uh, they start off with three straight wins, then two losses, two wins, two losses, then a win. Now we're going to bring in our softball analyst here, Kyle Anthony. Kyle, the Pioneers, you, you look at that, it, it, it's kind of like last year where it's feast or famine again. They're either getting all the runs or they're giving up all the runs. It's, it, these aren't really like your 2 1, 3 2 games. You see they're 10 9, 14 12, but then losses 6 4, 9 1. It's, it's feast or famine. Yeah, I mean, this team, I mean, when they've won, it's beaten because they've scored runs and their pitching's done all right. But when they've lost games, as you see, I mean, they, they haven't pitched very well, and they haven't hit very well. A lot of those games being 9-1 blowouts, and that just can't happen if you want to be a successful team if they want to win 20 games again. Yeah, this is a team. They made it to the AMC Conference Championship game last year, but were upset by crosstown rival Carlo after defeating them multiple times in the regular season. The Pioneers definitely want to get back here in the KIAC, and you mentioned it there, Kyle. Pitching is going to be the big thing, and how big is it this year? They have much more pitching than they did last year. Last year, they only had four pitchers on the entire roster, and even then, injuries plagued all of them, losing Audrey Eisentrout to the season uh, with an ACL injury. So now they have more pitching this year. How big is that for them, especially with softball playing the doubleheaders they do? Well, I mean, they added one more pitcher this year, and that's going to help. But in the tournament, their pitching didn't pitch that well. They had a team ERA of almost five. I mean, they let up 95 hits, and so they were giving up almost 10 hits a game, and that just can't happen. Teams were hitting almost 330 against them. So their pitching struggled a little bit here, giving up a lot of hits and put a lot of balls in play. It's struggling at the beginning of the season here, but you have two players returning as sophomores in Kate Reese and Audrey Eisenstein. You still have Kelsey Robertson, who is viewed as the ace of this staff. How big is that to have still young pitchers, so they have experience, but yeah, you see her early on not really doing it too well. But as the season progresses, what do you really see this pitching staff doing with more than they had last year. Well, I mean, I think they could definitely improve this year. I mean, as you said, they have more depth this year, which is going to allow them to go a little longer, and it also allows them to use some different pitchers and kind of switch it up, so it definitely should help them. This team still, now you go to the batting side of it, they still have Ashley Moran, one of the strongest power hitters on this team, can easily launch the ball we saw last year way out of the park. She launched it at least a good 275, almost 300 feet. And for softball, that's pretty darn impressive. So how big is it to have someone like her coming back who can really put runs on a scoreboard, especially with the way pitching has been a little bit of a roller coaster to begin this season? It definitely helps because it allows you to have some person you know that's going to anchor your lineup and be the most consistent part. So it's nice to have a player like that, especially if you can find some players to bat in front and behind her so she's not the only one carrying the team. Especially with the speed they have at the top of that lineup, Pioneers returning several players. They can easily drop down the drag bunt, suicide squeeze plays. How big is that for that for the Pioneers to have all the speed that they do at the beginning of their lineup so they can easily make it a lot harder on other teams to throw them out if they do hit just that simple ground ball? I mean, it's definitely a big thing because it allows them to get running for scoring positions for their three, four, and five hitters. But it also allows them, if they do get on base, to steal, which is something we saw them do very well when they're in Florida for spring training. And the other thing that comes to speed is good fielding. The Pioneers, a little spotty last year with the fielding, but this year with all that speed you have in the outfield and some of the potential infielders as well, speed can kill on the offense, but can also kill on the defense because it can turn that what could have been in double into a pretty outstanding diving play to make it out. Well, I mean, this year, I mean, fielding's been a little bit of a problem. They have players with nine errors, five errors, three errors, and that's just too many. I mean, I know it's early in the season, but you just can't have things like that if you want to go far in the tournament especially if your pitching is not doing so well. So you want to help them out. Pioneers, this is their first year in the KIAC after coming out of the AMC last year, almost winning it all. Now you look at the teams in the KIAC this year, what do you really see the Pioneers doing to ma make themselves one of the top dogs in the pack here in softball this year? Well, I think if they can get consistency out of the lineup in better pitching, they could go be a two or three seed and maybe going into the tournament, maybe higher than that. But it all depends on if the team clicks together. I mean, in Florida, we saw them when they lost, nothing did well, and when they won, their hitting did really well, but the pitching just kind of lagged behind. So if they can get everything going, they could be very successful this season. Moving forward here, Kyle, what do you really see the Pioneers doing? Do you see the Pioneers, do you see that pitching and uh, hitting coming together much like we kind of expect this season with so many experienced players coming back? 
Um, you know what? I do see it clicking. I see it happening later in the season once we play a lot more conference play. So I could see this team going in conference tournament as a two or three seed, maybe even winning the conference in the regular season. That's going to do it for softball here. Now we're going to bring it back with the courthouse case of the week. Don't go anywhere. We're gonna be, it's midseason for the Pens. It's grading time. What grade are you giving them? We'll find out right here. Pioneer Sideline. 